career, became very successful, and eventually met someone and settled down, got married. Uh, we were married for about eight and a half years or so. Yeah, eight and a half years married, actually, you know, together for ten. So it's a, big, a whole decade there. And ironically, having had the domestic violence in my life in the 80s, in 2005, a little over five years ago, my husband uh, chose suicide. So now I am a widow and a survivor of suicide also. And um, very uh, suicide is something that is very rarely discussed. Uh, from what I have found out over the years of having to grieve and recover and heal from becoming not only a widow but a widow of suicide and accepting the fact that my husband at the time, my spouse, chose to leave and no longer be here anymore. What were the emotions you faced when that happened? And I'm sure there's a lot of confusion and, and sadness. What did you feel when it first happened? Well, when it first happened, I kind of have to go back a little bit because what led to his suicide, of course, he's not here to answer those questions, but I literally watched this beautiful man. He was six foot one, blonde hair, blue eyes from New York, just gorgeous, you know, strong, manly man is what I would call him just go down into this very deep, dark place, this depression, and refusing to get help. Um, he was diagnosed manic depression, manically depressed, but wouldn't take medication. Um, he was very vain about it, I guess, in a way. Um, hitting 40, 41, he had an issue turning 40. That was a big deal for him at the time. And um, it was very sad to watch somebody in this dark place just keep going down. He threatened it many, many times. Um, and at the time, I traveled a lot for work. I'd be gone for days at a time, and not knowing what I was coming home to because he would have threatened it on the phone. And then maybe I had a five-hour plane ride. And so that was very stressful for me as well. But the day he did it, he... Basically, it was a Saturday, and he told me around 3 o'clock he was going to lay down and take a nap, which he was in the construction industry, so for him to take a nap at 2 or 3 in the afternoon was an everyday thing, because he'd be out of the house at 4 or 5 in the morning. And so he went back uh, to take a nap, and within about 5-10 minutes, I heard uh, one shot, and, and I knew what I, I knew what he did. and. Uh,